a message from the Lord came to Jonah. Go to the great city of Nineveh. Preach against it. The sins of the people have come to my attention. But Jonah ran away from the Lord. He went down to the port and found a ship that was going to Tarshish. But the Lord sent a wild storm. It was so wild that the ship was in danger of breaking apart. But Jonah was asleep inside the boat. The captain went down to him and said, How can you sleep? Get up and call to your, out to your God for help. The sailor said, Someone is to blame for getting us into all this trouble. Jonah told them, I am running away from God. He said, They asked him, What do we do to you to make the sea calm down? Pick me up and throw me into the sea. He replied, Then it will become calm. I know it, it's my fault that this terrible storm has come on you. Then they took Jonah and threw him over the oh. <laughs> And the stormy sea became calm. The men saw what had happened. And they had great respect for God. <gasps> Jonah's God. <laughs> now God sent a huge fish to swallow Jonah. No. And he was in the belly of the fish for three days and three nights. From inside the fish, Jonah prayed to God. He said, God, I was in trouble, and I called out to you. You heard me when I thought I was going to drown. You heard me and saved me with this fish. Lord, I will praise you. I will do what you ask and say that you can save people. God gave the fish a command, and it spit Jonah up onto dry land. <laughs> The Lord said to Jonah again, Go into the great city of Nineveh. Announce to its people the message that I give you. Jonah obeyed God. He went to Nineveh. He announced, In 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed. Stop doing bad things. The people of Nineveh believed God's warning. Even the king said, All of you must call out to God with all your hearts. Stop doing what is evil. Don't harm others. He might be not, not be angry with us anymore. God saw what they did. He saw that they stopped doing what was evil, so he did not destroy Nineveh. But to Jonah, this seemed very wrong. He became angry. He prayed to the Lord. Lord, isn't this exactly what I thought would happen? You are full of love. You don't want to destroy them. But the Lord replied, Is it right for you to be angry? Jonah waited to see what would happen to the city. It was very hot. Then God sent a leafy plant and made it grow up over Jonah. It gave him more shade. Jonah was very happy he had the plant. But before sunrise the next day, God sent a worm. Oh, no. It chewed the plant so much that it dried up. Jonah was very angry again. God said, Is it right for you to be angry about the plant? It is, Jonah said. This is terrible. But the Lord said, You have been concerned about this plant, but you did not make the plant grow. I made it grow. I took it away. I am the one who cares for the people of Nineveh. I hope you enjoyed Jonah this week. And I want to go over just a little bit of what this story was about and something that we can take away from it this week as we think about it. So the first person in this story is Jonah. And God gave him a job to do. He did not do a good job at first. He ended up getting on this ship with this terrible storm coming because he disobeyed God. But after everything happened on the ship and the sailors saw the miracle of God calming that storm so fast, it made them realize that our God is really a powerful God. And that's important for them to know. So God cared about those sailors and told them that message through that, that storm and that situation. But the next thing I look at is Jonah and the whale. And we might think that's a really terrible thing to be swallowed by a fish. But I think about if God hadn't done that and sent that fish to do that to Jonah, as smelly as that might have been in there, he would have died. And God cared about Jonah. And so he had mercy on him and brought this fish to save his life. And while he was in there, God dealt with his heart so that he realized he really did need to obey God. So he went and he went ahead to the people of Nineveh. And after he went to the people of Nineveh, they heard a message so that they too could be saved, just like Jonah was saved, just like the sailors were saved from the storm. And God was in each one of those things. So God ministered to the people of Nineveh by sending this message through Jonah. 
And then there's this last part of the story, which is a little bit different. It's the story that I hadn't heard when I was little. I always finished the story with the people of Nineveh when I was young. But there's another part to Jonah where he sits there and watches and waits to see if God's going to destroy the city because he really doesn't like them. And they probably were doing some really horrible things. And so Jonah was very upset that God was going to spare them. But God said, I'm the one who's in control. And he didn't just let Jonah stay off and be angry. He said, I need to teach Jonah too. I need to minister to Jonah's heart. And so he did this illustration where he made this big giant plant come up to be shade for him. But then he had this same plant be taken away from him to show him, I'm really the one in control, Jonah. And I'm the, really the one who needs to care about every single person. And I think that today that's something that can encourage us to know that God cares about every single person. Even if there's things that are hard going on in life, it doesn't mean God doesn't care about them. It means that God is there and he's able to teach and he's able to show his love in the midst of those hard situations. And so I hope that the story of Jonah can remind us of that, that there is always hope and there is always a kind and loving and merciful God in the background and hopefully in the main part of our life too, in the foreground, because we know him and we trust in him. So I hope that encourages you this week.